Nemo Trollix. So here we have the GMC Hummer EV pickup. And as you can probably tell, it is in fact pitch black out here. And that is for a reason. And that reason is that I'd like to show you how this vehicle looks like in the dark. And the whole purpose of me doing this is, well, during a typical test drive, you normally don't have the ability to check out the vehicle you know, at night. Typically, most test drives are done during the day. So here I am showing this vehicle to you at night. And I'll give you kind of a demonstration of all the lights and all of the, the various lighting elements about it. So let's start with... Uh, first, I'm going to unlock it, and you're going to see a little animation here. So as I unlock the GMC Hummer EV, what you see here is a nice animation that sweeps across the top end of the headlight. So in, inboard and to outboard, like so. And it does that twice. So every time you hit the button once, you get two of these signals. If you go to lock it, it will do the same thing, but only once. Now the GMC Hummer EV does have a two-tier lighting setup. And what I mean by that is that there's actually two tiers of lights, which has been a trend in automotive design over the past, I don't know, roughly decade or so, maybe a bit less than that. And that's where you have essentially two tiers of lights. You have, in the case of the Hummer EV, this tier, and then you have down here, it's difficult to see it right now, but I'll show it to you in a second, the primary headlight down here. So let's start by just uh, turning on the daytime running lights. And there they are. So the entire width of the horizontal, the top light bar essentially lights up. It is horizontally oriented as you can see. And it uh, does have these amber indicators here as well at the sides. They have this nice pattern here and they do actually also stick out past this uh, horizontal oriented uh, lighting elements. The light bar does kind of emulate the grill from Hummers of the past, but instead of this being a grill, given that this is in fact an EV, instead of this having an actual grill, it does now have these lighting elements spelling out Hummer and then EV down here. I also do like the way that these lights are treated, the actual graphic within these. So you do have the vertical graphic there that handles the hazards, that handles the turn signals, and actually these vertical uh, bars, they also handle the charge status when the Hummer EV uh, is plugged in and charging. You also see that enabling the daytime running lights or any kind of lights for that matter, also enables these three marker lights on the roof. And these are done not necessarily for show, although they certainly do look cool, but this is actually part of a federal regulation where any vehicle that is 80 inches wide or more than 80 inches wide does need to have those three amber roof mounted lights present. Overall, the entire daytime running light setup is very attractive in the Hummer EV. And as you can see, it's it really does accentuate the width of the vehicle in and of itself. All right, so next let's take a look at the turn signals, the turn signal indicators. Here's one of them. It does have the same sweeping animation inside out uh, as we saw when we uh, went to unlock or lock uh, the vehicle. So it's very attractive. There it is. I'll show you the other end right here, the passenger side. There we are. And then interestingly, when we flip on the hazards, the hazards are actually, they don't have this kind of animation. So they just flash uh, uniformly. So there is no, no uh, sequence there. And that brings us to the primary headlights. Let's show those. And there they are. And that's what I mean by dual tier lighting setup. So in reality, the top row here, the one that illuminates the Hummer uh, brand, the Hummer script, as well as the turn signals and these side marker lights. So this entire top row, it really is just a big daytime running light. Whereas the primary forward lighting elements, the primary forward lights, the headlights, if you will, they're actually located right here below the daytime light bar, the daytime, the light bar right here at the top. So there you have that dual tier lighting setup right there. And uh, these same lights down here, they also handle the high beam function. And let me show you what that looks like. So here is 
the regular beams and the high beams. As you can see, there is a very healthy amount of forward light that shines through these headlights. And uh, if I kind of show you over here, it does extend not only forward, but also outward to the sides as well, roughly at a 90 degree angle or close to that. Here's how the lights look from the rear. So here you have the three marker lights. In the back, they are marked in red. Again, this is an FMVSS requirement with any vehicle being 80 inches wide or wider. The tail lights, they also look really nice. They have a very unique signature graphic. You can see that right here. It kind of is a, a semi hourglass shape, if you will, right there. And you do have the side marker light right here. This one's red. The ones at the front are an amber. If you look really closely in, within the graphic of the tail lamp itself, you'll see that there's a Hummer script within the Hummer logo right here. That's a nice touch, kind of a nice Easter egg there. And uh, then we can take a look at the license plate lighting. That is done via LED lights as well on either side of the license plate, one here and the other there. Okay, let's take a look at how the vehicle looks when we apply the brakes. So essentially the two tail lamps, they now shine brighter and the chimsel, uh, the center high mounted stop lamp that you see right here at the top of the tailgate, this illuminates now as well. So all of this is LED, just like at the front, at the rear, this is a complete LED setup. Let's take a look at the driver's side turn signal. So there it is. It simply illuminates the hourglass shaped outline of the tail lamp graphic itself. Very tastefully done, looks very good. Same thing at the uh, passenger side of the vehicle right here. There it is. And then the hazard lights, let's take a look at those. So that's essentially both of the tail lamps blinking. All right, and then the reverse gear, when we shift into reverse, you'll see within the actual tail light graphic here, at the bottom end, you do have this flat kind of horizontal strip at the very bottom of the tail lamp. Now these reverse lamps, they are bright for really two reasons. The first is that they provide a healthy amount of illumination when the vehicle is backing, and that's clearly important for just look at that. that. That's a very healthy amount of rearward illumination there. And uh, that is important for, obviously, for pedestrians, passersby, and other vehicles uh, to be able to see that there is a vehicle that is backing up. And then the second purpose of uh, such bright reverse lights, it is ultimately to, uh, to provide more lights for the cameras. The Hummer EV pickup has two of them. The first one's located there. This is the actual backup camera right here. And then there's one within the cluster uh, that contains the marker lights. That one powers the rear camera mirror. And stitched together, this, the images are stitched together from both of those cameras to uh, provide the surround view uh, function. Okay, so now we'll put it in park. And there is one more light that I'd like to show you and it is located in the bed. So if I pop the tailgate, you will see two lights, also LED, one right here on the passenger side of the truck, and then the other on the driver's side right there. Both of these serve to illuminate the bed. As you can see, it's pretty dark with these lights off, but when they are on, we can certainly see that there is a very healthy amount of light that is sufficient to light up the contents of the bed. Let me show you how this looks from the side with all the lights enabled. So you can see that the tail lights wrap around enough to provide sufficient visibility of the Hummer V pickup from the side. And the same goes for the headlights. It's not really as much from a wraparound standpoint as the tail lights, but they do wrap around still, especially if you get closer to the front of the truck. Two more elements, lighting elements, worth mentioning about the Hummer EV pickup. The first is that there's no turn signal indicator within the mirror cap or the mirror itself. That's the first thing. But the second thing is when you open the door, check this out. 
it actually lights up and provides a nice puddle light of sorts uh, right from the door. The actual light that makes this happen is mounted right here. There it is. So it's essentially at the bottom most part of the trim. And beyond that, when the vehicle is off, you also have a nice HEV logo that displays from a light located at the bottom of the mirror. Motrolix.